Well, what's the right one? What's okay. the right one? Well, what day is it? What, what day is it? Today is September 8th, right? 8th, okay. I don't know. Okay, here we go. This is Isaiah 1. The vision concerning Judah and Jerusalem that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw during the range of reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. That makes more sense. So, so he's just acknowledging the kings? Yeah, and he thought, it tells when it is, and then this is his vision. This is his vision that he's going to share with us. Oh, so later on, Isaiah on was a prophet, and probably he's considered by some the, the greatest prophet. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. I guess they say biblical prophet. So what's the what's the what's the what's the New Testament one today? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a there's a joke in there because somebody says I said. Oh, it's like they knew you was going to they said, oh, glad you asked. <laughs> and said so they can go on. Not like this, not like there was their idea. <laughs> right. Okay, this is Second Corinthians. By meekness and gentleness of by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I appeal to you, I Paul, who am timid when face to face with you, but bold when away. So, okay, well. That's Paul. You know. Speaks for itself, I guess. Yeah, it's just, a lot of the New Testament is Paul's writing. Yeah, yeah. His, his letter to the these uh, churches that he planted. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. What's the next one? What's next, is, next is Psalm 52. Okay, okay, okay. Like that. Why do you boast of evil, you mighty men? That's a short one. Uh oh. Oh, I got it. Wait a second. And I, I like the short ones because then I can really think about this. Why do you boast of evil? I'm trying to apply. I always try to apply these things to, to what's happening right now, today. Mm -hmm. You know, my other trick is that, not trick, I'm sorry. I, I used the wrong word. My other thing is that, you know, I try to go back to those first two commandments. Love God and then and treat others yeah. as you treat yourself. You know, so if you don't, if you don't want evil, then you shouldn't be boasting. You, you, you know, you shouldn't be boasting of evil if you don't want evil around. You, you see, I'm, you see, I'm trying to get into those, just those two things. I try to make everything simple because I have a, like a simple brain. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to do all well, that you know, stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, you think uh, people boast today of evil? No, I mean, just in general, do people boast? Of course. What, well, are we, what are people boast about? Well, when they when you get when you get an expensive watch, when you get a, a new car, isn't that boasting? Well, no, I could be if wrong. If you say, if you say, uh, yeah, I got this expensive car. Yeah, 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 you see what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even have to say that. Mm -hmm. You shine it up and go down. This, you know, come on up. What's the what's that? Okay, you live in a neighborhood. What's it called? Keeping up with the Joneses. Oh yeah. Isn't that a boast? In other words, some, somebody does something and says, oh, um, I, I got to outdo them. Yeah. I got to, now let's change the word from outdo. I got to outboast them. If, if, if that I do. see what you're saying. Yeah. The boast, I think, of something a person would say, whereas mm. outdoing is, it, it can be, I, I see what you're saying. It oh, is, I see what you're saying. It is a, it is a boasting. Well, I, I know that um, the way... Uh, the way I look at it, keeping up with the neighbors, well, that's what, of course, I just read uh, Ecclesiastes, and, and uh, Solomon is saying that our our behavior is motivated by envy. That's what he's saying. Yeah. We're all, we're all envying well, our neighbors. There, there, there you go, keeping all, up with the junk. Yeah. I think everything just comes down to some, that's why I keep, I try to keep on slipping these things, those, 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 two, those two things. Yeah. So, so, that, that, so that was Psalm. I like that one. Hey, I, I, I don't was... want to see. I look at it the other way, though. I don't uh -huh. want. I don't want to get let my property get get too far below my neighbors because then they'll then they'll be mad at me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay. I got that. I got that. I got that. No. No. That I makes sense. The side of it. No. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if I if I let my grass grow real high, they might not say it. No. They might not say it. No. Mm. But they. They wouldn't like it, mm. and of course, there's a there's a point when I would get a, a citation for it from the city. So you mm. have to. It's not. Uh, yeah, your neighbors have certain expectations of you, and mm. Uh, mm. I'm not necessarily trying to 
outdo them, just the opposite. I'm trying to keep up with them, I guess. Keep up with them. So huh? do you, you, you keep up, keep up, what did you say, keep it up with them? Yeah. Who would them, them, who would them be? The neighbors. The, the Joneses. Come on, you, I, I just I, said I, it before, you just, you yeah. don't want to say, you know, that's the no, saying, oh, oh, that's oh, the oh. saying. My <laughs> wife, there's this British movie, my, or British show my wife likes, it's called uh, Keeping Up Appearances, and mm. it's really funny, it's mm. about this lady that's trying to keep up the, her image as a, as a kind of a social, uh, a social leader, yeah, yeah. actually, she's struggling, struggling with these little things. It's funny, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah keeping up appearances. Yeah. And her, her poor husband, oh, man, he, he just has to go along with her. It's got to go along to get along. Yeah. I yeah. got you. So what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, uh, you had the Psalms and then what's the, the. Okay. The. Proverb? Yeah. All right. Do not be a man who strikes hands and pledge or puts up security for debts. If you lack the means to pay, your very bed will be snatched from under you. Oh, that's good advice. Well, yeah, that's good advice. Well, that's good advice. In, in our world, people generally will not, unless it's a friend, people generally will not loan you money without security. That's the way mm. it works. Well, that's the way it's spoke. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. How much? So look, it's tomorrow. Look, I come. I, I specifically want to talk to you today because there's some stuff that's been happening. Okay. On both sides of the political. Now we're in the political season, so I, you know, I don't really like to talk about it, but I had no. I had to pay attention. Well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. With you. No, no, I had to pay attention. I'm, I'm telling. You know me. I'm not. I'm not into. I'm not into one side or the other. In mm -hmm. fact, I, I, it's my thing is a pox on both their houses. But I'm not even getting into that right now. Okay. I'm talking about what we call, I, 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 uh, it's a big word. Come on, what's that word? Because I love this. Oh, I love this word. There's been a certain, here we go, ready for it. I don't even know how to spell it. I just like right. to say it. Disingenuousness going on in the political arena on both sides these days. Okay, hold mean, on. Let you me. Mean, you mean lying? L I like the big word because if, if you if, if you if you you're right no you're right that's the word I mean but if you say somebody's lying then they get all mad because they know what that means. Oh, but if I say it, yeah. they don't know what that means. They just okay, say hey, yeah. that's a fancy. Word. They got to think about yeah. it. So yeah, okay. that's why I like that word. Okay, disingenuous. Yeah. Uh, no, but, I like but, that. Yeah. Okay. But I'm Let's just no 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 no. You can you can keep the lying thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just I I have oh wait let me use another big word wait a second. I'm enamored with words. Oh. Ta -da. I think that's a French kind of thing, like you're in love with words. I like words too. There you go. Okay, well, here we I go. Like here we go. The first disingenuousness. They can be words can be enchanting. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We gonna get, I guess we gotta go a whole fifteen minutes on this, man. Let's, let's, find, let's find the next the next big <laughs> word we can find to say what we're saying. All right. Okay. Right, disingenuous. Let's 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 focus in on that one. I'm gonna do first. I want to do the 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 Democrat side. Okay. You know, uh, that Biden guy, and his and his and his and his and his running mate, right? They yes. went and visited this boy in the hospital. This boy yes. got shot seven times in the back by by a, by a peace officer or a law enforcement. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that. But yes, my problem. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar I'm, with the case. Okay, though. but I I, I don't want to get into the case. Okay. I mean, I'm not talking about that exactly. Okay. My problem is that they they go together to visit this person. They ain't they ain't never visit nobody like that in their life. Yeah. So you know it's for politics. But my thing is, do they think that we're so stupid that we are actually going to say, oh, they're so sincere? Oh uh, yeah. I mean. They, the, 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 even the police officer didn't even apologize. They're going to offer what? Apolo I don't know if the, what they did at the. I wasn't at the at the at the hospital bed. In fact, I heard the guy was cuffed, cuffed at one time. They had to take the cuffs off, and he couldn't go. No, he's anyway. My, my point is this: that's what we call disingenuous. You mean uh, they don't really mean that? You mean they phony, lying? Phony. When they're being, phony. Phony. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I think so. I think. I think that the Democrats, and of course the Democrats are different, they're not all the same, but I think many of them think that we, the American people, are 
extremely stupid and willing to believe almost anything. Well, let's not let's not let us not let your guy off the hook. Okay, Mr. Trump. Well, we're, we're talking about okay. Yeah, we, 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 we're staying. No, 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 no. I, I want to, no. You can you can keep on. I just want. That's I just want to point that out. Let's go, with Mr. I Trump. I mean, the question is, are we as stupid as, yeah, as the Democrat true. leadership thinks we are? Okay, that's good a, question. That's a question. That's a good question. Okay. And I and I, I, I'm gonna get to. So I'm, actually, I'm gonna lead someplace else because I got this book I've been reading. Because, like I say, a pox on everybody's house. Okay. Now, now, Mr. Trump. Now he said, and I, I actually saw the saw what I found the comments, whatever have you. He basically said, the World War Two guys are suckers. The World War One guys are suckers. The Afghan guys are suckers. He sort of did. He sort of did something with the Vietnam, but he was basically saying, you know, McCain's. Uh, he, he didn't say sucker, but no, he did say sucker. I don't know what he said. But he said, even McCain, you know, he got shot down. You know, he like, you know, that's no hero like that. So he went through all this stuff with the military. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now, here's the funny thing. I actually agree with him. I'm not saying that, not, not to, not, not to, you know, I actually agree with him. Because what he really said was that if you're going to go fight for something, you don't even know, you're fighting for some rich people. You think you're fighting for the country, but you're fighting for the rich. There's nothing in it for you. What did you get out of it? That's what he was saying to me, right? Now, here's the problem. Then he went on, whatever have you, but he said, I know what I'm saying is going to be, you know, he says like the generals, something about the generals. Here's what's disingenuous. He, I remember, because I actually agree with this one, he said a long time ago, he said, but before he was running, or as he was running, no, yeah, when he was in a debate with those, those guys on the stage, he said, hey, look, I know what's going on. I give to both parties. So if I want something, I can go to anybody because I give to both parties. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what he said. Right, yeah, I, believe, I believe he did that. No, no, no. That's what he said. Wait, wait, we're not going to believe it. But that's what's okay. done. That's he's trying to yeah. say. That's how the game is played. That's how the game is played. And he, being a businessman, he played the game. That's no right. Exactly. It. No doubt about it. Now he's now he's in the White House, wherever have you. For him to sit down and say that the generals, the you know, military industrial complex or the military military industrial congressional complex, whatever Eisenhower was, was trying to say. He knows that the generals are but managers. Like he, as president, is a manager. And a, and a cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 In other words, the generals don't make the the policy. The generals don't take no money. They're just managing the money, or the, managing where the, or they they advise where the thing goes to. So him to say that, he's not saying that. Oh, really? It's us, the legislature. Well, the legislature and me as president. Well, Natalie, I can smell so much him, but it's not the it's not the the boys that have to go off the war because they 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 made it so that 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 they made a a a a, a weapon that's got to be used only in war, <laughs> and you're going to use that weapon to do what? To you know, not for your benefit, yeah, it'll save your life for using it, but not for, but for somebody else's benefit. And not only that, as we keep on having to make these more weapons, you're not getting a cut of those weapons that are being made. That, 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 the Marine that has that rifle, that, that's his best friend, he's not getting a cut of that, of that profit that, that that gun make. So yeah. what I'm trying to say is that Mr. Trump is a little bit disingenuous because he knows, and he didn't say what he knew because he said it before, but he didn't say it now that he's president. That's all I'm trying to say. So that's, what, that's why I keep on saying the pox of both the house because it's, to me, they both are disingenuous. They both, you know, fibbing. Now, now you can go. Now, go ahead. I'll, I'll just listen to what you have to say. You understand? I lay out a case for both of these, both yeah. of these politicians. Yeah. He used to be a businessman, but now he's a politician. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I think he, yeah, he, he used to be a businessman, but now he's in the White House and had to set his business aside. And he, he's not a politician, and that's why he's, he's, uh, you know, ruffling the feathers of a lot of these. Um, the, a lot of the uh, political class. So um, let me just say this: I think on the Democrats we agree, and I want to. I'm going to defend President Trump a little bit. I'm going to separate out two things that he said. I don't believe he ever said that that our soldiers died. Soldiers were were suckers. I don't believe he said that. And there's about. And when they looked at that particular comment, they've had about ten. Um, 
10 people that actually came up with their names and said that he did not say that and that he the reason he didn't he didn't visit that um, the place that they were our soldiers were buried in France was because of the weather not because he he thought that they were he thought anything like that about them now having said that and so I think that that's a um, a very nasty rumor to suggest that President Trump doesn't have respect for our soldiers. I think if you look at what he's done, he's increased the pay of the armed forces. He's given them the, the best, better weaponry. He's done a lot for veterans. He said, if you can't get the help you need in a, in a veterans hospital, you just go where you can get the help and we'll pay for it. So he's done, uh, I think he's done many things to show that he has real respect and he for the people that have uh, fought for our country and also those that have died for it. Now in the case of John McCain, that's a little different. I do believe he did say that about McCain. You see, uh, you put the two together, but I think that, I think they're I separate them in my mind. He did say McCain is is um he's he kind of questions why he should be considered a um, a war hero for getting shot down. Well, you know, uh, I mean, uh, hey, he, he got shot down. I think uh, maybe that was a little, uh, maybe that was a little crude of the president to say that. Maybe, yeah, maybe he, yeah, he, the president tends to say what he means. And uh, I think that uh, McCain, I suspect he got some special treatment over in, uh, over in Vietnam because they knew that he was a, um, he was he was a well-connected uh, person. Now, Not he said, is, well, was he well-connected? Oh, that's right, because his for his, his his people were in military. Yeah. Because I know he was yeah, born he was in Panama was, because was he the son of a general. Yeah, yeah, this Not a general. Right, yeah. Was he the son of an admiral? I mean, yeah, something, something like, something. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. you. I understand. Yeah. Okay, so, but but nevertheless, he said uh, he told his experiences, and he said at one point he said uh, they they broke me. Well, man, I, I I respected him for that, man. That's mm. a hard thing. That's a hard thing to confess. In other words, they were yeah. so hard on him, but, but, they, but he couldn't take it anymore. But that's the specific. I don't want to get these specific things. My whole thing is general. My, what I'm trying is very clear. When I say his 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 Donald Trump's uh, 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 pretzeling, <laughs> twisting what was said is this. I'm saying it's very clear. As a businessman, he knew to play the game. Yeah. As a politician, when he's now as a politician, he should be able to explain to us now from both sides, whether a politician or anything. So he should be able to explain to us, hey, you know what these politicians do? They make it so you have to go to war. That's what he should be saying. But he don't say that. He blames it on the generals. The generals ain't they, they, the generals ain't they, they just just they're like soldiers. No, I think, I, think I, I I respectfully disagree with you. I think he. You know, he's pointing out that there were continuing wars, continuing wars in the uh, the region we call the Middle East. I don't know why exactly why we call it that, but these wars were were going on and on and on. And he is he he said, in my understanding, he said this: Look, these two peoples, these two groups of people have been fighting for years. Why should we get our soldiers in the middle of it as so-called peacekeepers? And, and they're experiencing casualties. Exactly. That's what I mean, we are agreeing because what happened was when he is trying to get out of Afghanistan, both the Democrat and the Republicans wouldn't let him d uh, decrease the funds or anything like that. In fact, they kept gave, gave him more money to continue the war. Well, that may be because the Democrats and the Republicans are all the ones that they, they're the ones that, that, that they provide have a, the, the, they have an interest in it. They're in they're in the political class up there in Washington. The same political class that he said that he that he he played both of them at, at played played on both of them. So I'm trying to look. It's very simple. I don't know why we're trying to dance around this thing. I'm, it's very very simple. Well, to me, it's very simple. He's in a position where he can explain to us exactly what the deal is and take us out. But he can't take us out because the people around him are more powerful than he is. Well, he, he's trying to take us out. No, he's he not. I just, yeah, you're right. He tried to take us out. And what happened? He got checkmated. He's trying to take the soldiers out. He got checkmated by who? By both peoples. Okay. <laughs> okay.
okay. I see what you're saying. No, no. I see what you're saying. So in other words, really, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I think the, uh, sad to say it, but I think, you know, you consider me a Republican, but I think I don't consider you anything but Mr. Moore. That's all I can okay, consider well, you. <laughs> I, think, I think some of the so-called Republicans up there are not very, um, they're as political as the Democrats. The, the, the difference is, uh, uh, well, so I think that, I think that President Trump is making an effort to pull our soldiers out, and I agree with him. But look at what he did with, uh, what he did in the case of ISIS. Remember, um, at the end of the Obama administration, ISIS was a huge, they held a huge amount of territory. And President Obama was saying these people are, you know, they're, they're, um, they're swift, they're this and that, and they're, um, they're well established, and there's really uh, hardly anything we can do about them. Well, you know, I know I'm paraphrasing what he said, but President Trump said we're gonna we're gonna eliminate him, and he went in and they and they and they got rid of all of them. He said they're horrible barbarians, and he he, he eliminated all of them. So I think that um, yeah, and as fact as um, President Trump admitted that he gave to both sides, yeah, because that's what he did in order to uh, to get things done when he was in the uh, Building business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think he's he has not exactly claimed to be a saint. He's he's a businessman. Okay, here we go. I think this is it. Uh, and I'm praying that he gets another four years. Well, you know, I don't. It was, Okay, I'm reading this book. What's the book? What's the book? It's called The People Know. And N O, not K N O. Oh, okay, I got you. A Brief History of Anti Populism by Thomas Frank, right? Okay, interesting. Right. And I've been. Um, uh, now, there was this passage I wanted, or not a passage, a little thing. Uh, it's like that we say a, po a pox on everybody's house. Um, I wouldn't call a pox on anybody's house because we're probably in the house too. That's right. Well, but, but what I'm talking about the, on, the, on the leaders of the house, the, oh, okay. the daddies or whatever, the, the mommies and the daddies, you know. Um, it's, it's what they basically said. That this party, this populist party. Um, What they did, they got together with the not the not the populist party, but the Democrat and the Republican at the time. They both got together with the bankers and the hoity toities to basically uh, beat up on this populist party, which was made up of white farmers, bl uh, uh, black farm, b b the regular people, workers and other, you know workers in the factories and stuff like that. This is like 1892. Uh, Okay. Now this, this it's, is history. Yeah, this is history. This is history. history. Yeah. Okay. In fact, you can read sit, just this little part. Could you just read that little part right there? Okay. Just that. Just written, this paragraph. Here? Yeah, that that paragraph. I want to hear this one. Okay. Okay. Is this a true history? Yeah. Oh. Well, he's referenced it. It's not a. Oh. It's not a novel. Okay. <laughs> All right. In 1892, populist leader Tom Watson of Georgia declared in the National Magazine that. The People's Party will settle the race question by addressing the common economic interests of black and white farmers. There you go. When Watson then spoke, spoke to these farmers directly, you are kept apart that you may be separately fleeced of your earnings. Ah. You are made to hate each other because upon the hatred is rested the keystone of the arch of financial despotism which enslaves you both. You are deceived and blinded that you may not see how this race antagonism perpetuates a monetary system which beggars both. 
now, 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 this is this is guys talking in 1892. But that's not that's not the paragraph I was really looking for. There was this other thing that they were well, saying. Well, but well, he was saying, just a, he's saying the racial racial antagonism is hurting both, and they're taking it. They're doing it. They're they're doing it to hurt you. No, somebody's making that happen. So yeah, so they can keep it apart. Here, yeah. that, uh, that, uh, that dishonor. Okay, it says um, the critical thing to understand for present purposes is that the populace were not the great villains of the error's racist system. The dis that dishonor went to the movement's arch enemies, the Southern Democrat Party leaders who were absolutely clear about their commitment to white supremacy. Okay? But that's not what I want to see. That's the Democrat. At the time, you know, they were, they were. Well, you uh, know, I'm, I'm hearing that too. But you know, don't hear that much today. No, no, but 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 now, but but we're saying now it's sort of reversed because now people realize people are saying that the that the Republican Party has replaced that Democrat Party of oh a hundred years later then the, it's just been flipped, right? How how would it be flipped? But anyway, we don't. That's a that's a very well the, the well 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 well, 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 well I'm saying people it's been evidence that this whole white supremacy notion is hidden. They've they've gone into. The things like the Republican Party into they're all over, of course, or maybe not even but all all over, but also into they go into the military to get trained, and then they come out and go into certain police forces. There's been documented there are gangs, not just 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 white supremacist gangs, all kinds of gangs in police forces. That's why you have this stuff happening right now. This is what upsetting me, you know. Well, I think that uh, white supremacy is as bad as. Uh Black supremacy. I mean, they're both. You they're can't. Both, you, know, both you, you can't. You, excuse me. You can't have two supremes. No. You cannot be one supreme. You can have no. black supremacy. If you have white supremacy, you can't no. have black supremacy. That doesn't make any no, sense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, no, <laughs> so I, I don't believe, supreme means one. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe in in white supremacy. Well, you know, I may not believe in it, but it, it, it certainly is, is evident. You know, you you hang it out with you 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 know who we, you know who we're talking about. The who? Prop, who, the prop, who? You, will you shall we shall we uh, flip on some phone right now and some smartphone and and see some why some somebody spewing some hate whatever have you, with their little tattoos or whatever have you? Come on now, this this don't don't be disingenuous. <laughs> the problem is not knowledge, it's orthodoxy. What they what they're saying is that people want the the, the there elite. Are, there are white supremacists, yeah, but I think they're I think they're few and extreme, and that they ought okay, to be. Okay, well then let me let, let, let you, Okay, fine. I'm not going to argue the point. If you can't see them, if you don't know about them, the Nazis were were they? No, the Nazis and that's that's old. Believe me, that's we not. That's a whole other country. I'm talking about right now. Yeah, I think so. You teach me. No, no, no. You could teach yourself because to me, for instance, was was not like I was not Woodrow Wilson a white supremacist? Yeah, there are certain things he did that make you think that he, uh, he was. Uh, okay. Yeah, he was not. He was somewhat racially biased. Yeah, yeah, I think there is evidence for that. First race. If you have power as a president, it's not just racial bias. If you can make laws and you can make policy and make things happen, that's a supreme being doing that. Well, That's no, what I'm talking only, about. It's you, only a government. The Lord's a supreme being. Okay, he's, fine. Uh, a supreme person on earth, or whatever. He's a supremacist. Uh, Woodrow Wilson was a supremacist. He had the power, and he acted on that power to subjugate people. To that, that's what the boy did. Okay, that's all I know, right? Okay, okay. Well, now, but the problem I'm, I'm glad to see you're a student of history because history. Oh, no, I love history. Well, I, I shouldn't history, say I love history. Yeah. I, I love literature more than I like history. But I'm just saying I just happen to be okay. reading this particular book about politics because of whatever. In 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 a democracy, ordinary working class people were the ones who had to make the decisions, and so they educated themselves and prepared to wrest the levers of monetary power from the corporate elite. There is a problem. It's the money that dictates the power. And unless you can take, you can wrest that power away from those money people, then you, you're still going to be, you see? Anyway, so that's, that's, what, that's, that's what it all came, came, 
Yes, I just read there was another thing, I, but I can't I mean, find you're, it right you're now. Again, there's some interesting areas here, and more than one. I mean, this is a this is not a simple subject you're delving into. But uh, yeah, you're saying money is power. I mean, to a certain extent, there's yeah, there's, there's that's hard to disagree with. No, people who who wield the money, who control the money, have the power. Money is just money. But there are yeah. people who then take that and then they pull the wool over your eyes. They take that money. What the book was pointing out, like they take that money and they'll they'll take that money that they made and they'll put it all into newspaper ads to tell you how bad this is, to lie, to be disingenuous about the populist party. Okay. So they have so they have buckets and buckets and buckets of money to keep on convince you. They put it in the newspaper at the time. They put it in newspapers. They put it. You know, they went door to door. They made they pay people to go door to door to spread lies. Mm -hmm. They did everything they possibly could. Just like today, you know, what, you, you say you have all this money. What do they do? They put it into this ad here to say this. There was an ad that said about something. They said, "Oh, we made a mistake." They pulled the ad at the at the last possible moment. Come on, that's money. Yeah, Those are tricks. Those are being yeah. disingenuous. <laughs> they're trying to, in other words, you're saying they're trying to manipulate the American people. They right? do. That's what the guy just got finished saying. It's all about manipulating. Yes. Yeah. And if you go for it, here we go. Now I'm going to go back to what, what uh, that's why I was trying to say that Mr. Trump was saying. If you go for it, you're a sucker. That, he didn't say it that way, but he said if you go, if you go into war and there's nothing in it for you, no, he, no, he said, you go into war, what's in it for you? Answer that question. Sure. That's what he's asking them, not, not you, but that's what he's asking them to do. Yeah. The common soldier goes into war for why? Well, at, at uh, certain points, they didn't have a choice when they, you know, when they draft, you know, the well, draft, they, 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 we're you not talking about that. You're you understand about, the question. That they, I'm ask, no, I'm not asking, Mr. Trump is asking that question. This is not my question. Okay, the question is what now? The question is, you are going into war with a weapon to whatever you to take over this land or whatever you're doing with that thing. And what's in it for you? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, you're doing it um, to... Um, you are fighting for your country... You're also fighting for your own uh, survival. You're fighting to have uh, three meals a day and a shirt on your back, and uh, hopefully to get back to uh, uh, the land of the free. Okay, so that's your answer to Mr. Trump when he asked that question. That's going to be your answer to him. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm not sure. Did I understand the question correctly? No, no, no. I'm saying he's, he asked. I didn't. Mr. Trump asked that question. He said, "What's in it for you?" You say you would say you would answer Mr. Trump. Well, it's for it's for the freedom of my country, so I have to have three meals a day, so I can all this stuff that you said. That's what your answer to Mr. Trump would be. If he's I'm asking, just, if I'm a soldier, and he's no, asking, no, 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 no. He said before you was a soldier. He said, "What's in it for you?" Okay, as a soldier, as whatever. What's in it for you? I don't know how you want to say this, but he clearly asked. He, this wasn't oh, a soldier. Oh, you said, "What's in it for me as a as a citizen?" As the person that they gave the gun to to go over there and fight that war, that's what his his, his, his his question was. That's my understanding. What's in it for you? What's in it? Mr. Trump is asking. What's it? Yes. What's in it for you? Mr. Trump asked that question. I didn't ask that question. Okay. Well, I mean, I'd be fighting. I, 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 ser I served. I served. And I know what it was in it for. Yeah, you're right. I was ducking. I was. I wasn't ducking bullets. That's not true. <laughs> I was making sure. That the you know, other people were, were be, I was a medic, so I was making sure of certain yeah. things. But my point is, See, that's I not my point. I didn't have to serve. I didn't well, get called up. Well, the point is, well, you understand the point. Uh -huh. So anyway, let's 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 end it here. You you and you answer when Mr. Trump asked that question again. Just 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 you have to answer the question. I don't have to answer the question. <laughs> you, you, Mr. Trump asked the question. Does he simply ask a simple question, and people need to give him that answer that that whatever it is. So there's really no. No What's thing in it about for you. That, you know, there's, not, there's always got to be. Um, I'll say that that you know we're not. Since we're not Jesus, there's always got to be something in it for us. What's it? What's in it for Mr. B when Mr. Biden went and visited that kid that was that was shot in the back what seven times? What was in it for those I'll those? What's, what, in what, 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 what's in it for those two people to go to to I'll go visit? He's making himself look like a caring person. 
Well, that's there you go. See, you answer the question. There you go. He's, he's, he's posturing and making uh, an image. For well, himself. there you go. Okay. Well, anyway, Mr. Moore, thank you so much. This was very enlightening for me. It was? Yeah. Did I say something you didn't know before? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I've got to re. I got to think about this. <laughs> <laughs>